Hi, you are back with Sharon from Vivid Days and today we are going to be focused a lot, little bit on our well-being and art therapy. Now I love to paint in all kinds of mediums, uh, specifically resin, just going to jesmonite, but I love my oil paintings and I love anything to do with the ocean. So today's video is going to be showing you how you can create this. So I want you to have courage. If you're proficient at art, then see this is art therapy, a way to relax the brain. If you've all, if you always wanted to be able to paint something, get that reward for painting, but are not so confident, you're gonna love these. Now, these are so modern compared to what they used to be, paint by numbers. So it's from Crafties. Uh, this is how you can get to their website, but I do know you can get them from uh, other places like Amazon. Um, but we're gonna explore this together. And I'm gonna look at this as a therapy. I'm gonna look at the quality. I'm gonna look at the end result. I'm gonna share it along with you. Obviously, it'll be fast forward so that you're not gonna be with me. We're gonna talk about um, how it relaxes the brain. So how does it work? Obviously, you're gonna fill each number with color. So we're gonna open the box and we're gonna look at the size of this. So in here, you can actually use this box as an easel. Now, if I don't bode well with it, I'm gonna get one of my normal easels out. And it's saying how to start here. So we are going to match the 24 paint pots and we're going to number them 1 to 24 to help. Uh, make sure you've got water because it's easy to move your paint and switch colours when you've got water to hand. Make sure you've got something to wipe it off with. Make sure your area is protected. And it tells you here to um, paint each colour one by one. Start with a colour that takes up the largest surface. Now this is black, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. Or maybe I should follow what they're saying, but... I, want it. I think I'll get satisfaction by doing all the other little colours first. Well, that's just me. I do it my own way. But you will get, you know, your canvas is ready in 24 hours. So keep in mind, it dries quickly. So drops of water will loosen it. Start with the lighter to darker colours, especially when you're using acrylics. That's a uh, something that you should do. Um, and if you basically, if you make a mistake, you just go back over with water and dilute it. So, yes. Yeah, so... Here's how you do it with a box, but let's have a little look at the board. So it's on a canvas, which is kind of cool. So you should be able to hang that directly off the wall, or you should be able to put it in a mount, whichever's best. But look at the detail on here. So yes, I would imagine that there's going to be many an hour that's in here, but I just want to enjoy this. For the first time, I'm just going to be zoning out and using colours. I'm not thinking about the composition or anything like that. And this actually does break down a few of your artistic rules. Because if the minute you start thinking, I'm going to be doing this jellyfish, you can start to panic and the project feels too big. Whereas this is actually teaching you about just break it down, see colours, uh, pop them in little areas. So I am going to come on this journey and share it with you. And I'm so excited. What else have we got in here? We have got a thank you card. And again, you can promote what you've done with their Facebook and their um, Instagram. 25% uh, coupon off your next purchase. I think this is just a map as well, which is just going to help you to hand with your colours. These are the colours. And this is what they're referring to. Oh, that image is going to be so beautiful, isn't it? I'm so looking forward to it. So uh, it gives you your colour scheme here. So that's what we've got to number. Where are pickable? Follow this colour guide. Label. We've talked about that. You get the brush sets here. You actually get the cute little numbers to put on your pots. I think there's two spare pots there. I think that might be where you put your, your water in. Or if you're going to mix any colours. Uh, you get your things for hanging it up. These are the colours. Super excited. And then what do we get in this little gift box here? Oh, this is your little palette for you to put your pots in as well. And that's really it. Everything's filled out of the box. I like this. With each order you place, you support an artist. Brilliant. Anyway, this is going to be my goal tonight. I'm just going to do some art therapy for myself and I am so excited to try this. Anyway, if you have tried one of these before, let me know. Join my Facebook group and pop in your picture. I'd love to see it. What did you think to it? Did you find yourself go very relaxed when you were just concentrating on the numbers? Uh, love to hear from you. Anyway, see you shortly.
So I'm coming back in and showing you my thoughts on this. If you've worked with this brand before or if you've done some of the paint by numbers, let me know. This is by no means a finished piece. I need to come back and do second layers on some of them. And what I mean by that is the pigments themselves is opaque and there's transparent. With a yellow, it's quite transparent. So if I'd have applied it thickly, I might not have had to come through, but I need to come through and do second coats now. So I would say my tip for you is to firstly, either choose whether you want to just map out your colors and then be willing to come back and do a second paint. <laughs> or whether, Zeus is just having a little party there, you want to take your time and apply them thickly so you don't need to come back. So such as this one has got a very nice opaque covering, coloured all those numbers straight away. You can see some nice 3D effects coming out here with the plays with the lights and the darks. I've got to now go back through and finish this. So I'm not going to keep recording this all the way through, but I did find tranquility in doing this. If you want a little bit of art therapy, if you don't feel that you can paint or you do paint but you just want to give yourself a little break very good project maybe put it on your uh, present list wish list um ignore the fact that i've spilt water on this <laughs> just now because that's just me i'm a messy worker but this is gold um this is your map so that as you're coloring if you start to cover up thin areas and you think well what was that number there you can look here and then you can use that Another hot tip is I kept these in a jar after a period of time because my cats kept coming up and knocking them off and then my dog come and took one of them away. So I now have to work out what that colour is and use that. So um, yeah, follow the instructions. The easel works really good. I've just been stood out here in my garden just doing a little bit more. And yeah, what I'd be working on now is just coming back and re-going over those colours so that it's fairly uh, opaque. Uh, and then hopefully get that detail where it starts to pop. You saw me, I did that in the wrong colour and I don't know what happened on that night. I must have been um, very tranquil and just grabbing paints and popping it on. And uh, yeah, once I actually used the colours in the order that they said, it worked. But I love it. I love the fact that that looks like it's shining. You get the roundness, you get the colours. And yeah, I definitely would recommend people giving it a go. And yeah, it does take a lot of time, a lot of hours. A lot of hours have gone into this and a lot more hours will go on to that. Uh, and at some stage in the future, I will show you the end result. But so far, bye bye. See you on the next video. Oh, if you haven't already, thumbs up, subscribe, share. Comments are always welcome. If you have worked with this before, let me know. And also uh, pop over to my Facebook group should you want to showcase what you've created in this. <laughs> Anyway, Zeus is saying goodbye and I am. See you on the next video. Bye.